Alright guys, trouble in paradise. Goes to get the screws. Of course there gotta be four screws. Two each side. You see the two holes. There are three screws in the bag. What's up guys welcome back to the channel man i got my next project game y'all can see this box is almost tall as me man i'm gonna see i haven't seen it yet in person but i'm i'm anxious to see it and to see if i can wrap the parts i want to wrap no way i'll wrap the whole thing but just the parts i want to wrap if i can we're going to do that and then we're going to also install it too so man let me crack it open and let's see what did it even look like? I'm excited, guys. Let's go. All right, guys, this is my rear hatch spoiler. Man, I've been wanting one of these for a little while. No. I was thinking about wrapping the edges with your these. I'm glad they're not attached actually. The only problem I see is they're they're rounded. Like all the edges are rounded. There's not a clean edge to cut. You know what I'm saying? Which would make it a little more difficult since they're just rounded. So mm, I don't know. I might have to keep it all gloss black. Only reason why I didn't want to keep it all gloss black because the couple people I've seen with this, of course, it's gloss black. And I want mine to forge carbon to match. Um, let me take a look at the big one. Alright guys, trouble in paradise. Goes to get the screws. Of course there gotta be four screws. Two each side. You see the two holes. There are three screws in the bag. I looked and looked and looked. And there is a hole in the bottom of the bag. Don't know if y'all can see it. But there's only three screws here. I mean, I looked over the floor, looked on the sides, looked in all the wrappings, looked in the box, just in case it fell out in the box, really hoping I do not see none. I only have three screws when I need four. Um, I do think it would stay on though, because it goes in the groove. It's a pretty deep groove and it, goes, it sits in there and gets screwed in. I'll probably just have to add some, uh, actually I have some, Gorilla super glue. I mean, not just super glue, but Gorilla super glue. So I'll probably just have to add that to the side. They got the one screw, and um, man, then I gotta put all this adhesive down after I clean it. Adhesive, these go around here. I mean, the whole thing, I guess, because this is a stick on, then screw on if you wanna drill it into uh, your deck. That means you're putting the holes in your car. So I'm not gonna go that route. I'm just gonna use the 3M and see how it go from there. Hope it's not like the front splitter cause even with the screws in the front splitter, the wind will literally rip that thing right off your car. Um, I know from experience. <laughs> so let's get this started.
All right, guys, so I think I got everything out here that I need. Got my heat gun, my alcohol, uh, my tape is in the trunk. Hold up, let me sit this heat gun. Let's put that right down there for the moment. So this spoiler has to come off. This is also a stuck on spoiler and I've had zero issues with it. And I'm betting that I'm gonna have a hell of a time trying to get it off. Cause yeah, <laughs> it's on there real good. But man, let me try to get this thing off, get it cleaned up, and then I can even fit the other one. I can't even test the other one until I get this off. I can't even fit it. Um, yeah. This is gonna be fun. Let's go. All right, guys, I got it off. Now I just gotta get it cleaned up. I also got a shark fin antenna because this thing ripped a hole in my car cover after using it once. So I got a shark fin antenna to go over here, cover that up so I don't have no more big pokey things ripping up. I just bought a new cover, man. And I'm not gonna put it on until I got my shark fin on there. So I gotta make sure the shark fin was even gonna fit. So yeah, and mock these things up, get this cleaned up, mock it up, tape off where I need it to be, and uh, see if I can get the shark. I think I think I need to put the antenna on there first. All right, guys, just got it cleaned up up here. Now this might be the little difficult part because I need to uh, place it and tape off where it's actually going to be because once you go to stick it it's one and done you there's <laughs> you mess up you messed up there's no second chances so you gotta get it right the very first time so you gotta mark off exactly where it's going to be but it's going to be a little difficult doing that without somebody holding it while i'm taping off the marks where i need to stick it but let's get it man All right, guys, so I got it marked off right where I want it to be. So I know it gotta be right here. And then right here, you gotta match up with those in order to be straight the way I need it and right where I need it to be. So whew, let's try to get it. All right, guys, so I'm gonna take the uh, paper backing off the adhesive, heat it up with the heat gun, and then very carefully try to place it right where I need it to be. All right, guys, I love the way it look up there, but um, this is definitely a screw it in job. <laughs> I definitely need to, um, yeah, it need to be screwed in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, it, it looks great, but I think it will just fly right off, man, under the pressure of the wind. Um, the wind is very strong, guys. Say, I, I ripped my front spitter off, which was screwed in. It had to have multiple screws, so yeah. I mean, I really, I really love the way this look, guys. I really love the way it look, and it definitely need to get screwed in. Or my hundred bucks is still gonna go flying off down the highway somewhere, probably hit somebody else's car or something. You know what I'm saying? So, 
his screw tab. All right, guys, so what I found out is that you definitely want to open the hatch first. <laughs> make sure it clears because i did not clear the first time so i had to open the hatch put it back on where i had the tape just not as far to the back i had to move it up some so it would clear whenever i opened the hatch because it did not clear first guys so you can see it right there i had it all the way up snug all the way up snug did not clear when i opened the hatch so yeah, this definitely got to get uh, screwed on. See how it looks when I open and close the hatch now. All right, let me look, let me look. Okay. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> now, let's drill. Gas. <laughs> That was a little more than what I expected it to be, but I absolutely love the way it turned out, man. Um, I've wanted one of these for a while now, and uh, I just didn't know how one of these was going to look on a journey. You know, there's no journeys with this. And this is a universal one. It ain't even specifically made for the journey. It comes up made for the journey, but it's a universal one, man. But it looks great. Look at that, guys. It looks great great i absolutely love the way it turned out looking at her from the side i mean man it looks great guys it looks great and like i said man when you install this thing if you plan on doing one make sure you lift the hatch and get the clearance you need not the because <laughs> it, it'll knock it off trust me if it's if you put it as snug as it look like it's supposed to go you know what i'm saying because it go on course stuff too so it can get pretty snug but on this there's the there's there's just certain amount of room that you need to lift the hatch and if you don't give it the clearance to lift the hatch it's just going to knock it right off trust me it just did it so yeah and it has the clearance You know what I'm saying? Let me turn this camera on. So it has the clearance, you know what I mean? That's how it looked like with the hatch up. There's the clearance I need. It's very little clearance, but that's all you need. I didn't want it there to be no big gap, so I wanted, you know what I mean? I wanted it to be close, but close is not hitting at all. Not at all, so yeah. Let me put this thing back down. Yeah, guys, it turned out great with that profile. I love the way that look. Let's get a whole profile. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that's why I wanted it to be the forged carbon, but no, nah, it's, it's fan just like this, guys. Look at that whole profile. That is great. I love it. It's a sporty look. You know what I'm saying? That's what I was going for.
I'm gonna add another trim of the forged carbon fiber to the front, man. I've been looking at it. I've been wanting to do it for a while. <laughs> I've been wanting to do a lot of stuff for a while, man. I'm just finally pulling the trigger on stuff, you know what I'm saying? Getting this content. But yeah, we're gonna add another little trim in the front, man. This is gonna look right. Check it out. All right, guys, that's it, man. We checking out with another video, man. The shark um, antenna did not fit, guys. It did not fit. That's, that's crazy, but <laughs> so I'm not gonna be putting the core cover on anyway. You know what I mean? I'm gonna let the adhesive uh, cure for a couple days first anyway. So, man, but the spoiler looks great. I absolutely love the results, man, again. So you open the hatch and got the clearance you plan on installing one on your journey if you got a car because it's going cars too whatever you got you know you ain't got to worry about that with the car but if you got a hatchback any type of hatchback make sure you got the clearance before you drill and guys you're going to have the drill you know what i'm saying but anyway guys like share subscribe man hit that notification bell so you get notifications every time i upload a video oh 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 if you made it this far in the video, man, thanks. I appreciate it, guys. I just went over a thousand subscribers and um, I need my watch minutes up. So I hit the there's there's three criteria to become a YouTube partner, um, which I get monetized when some when some of YouTube partners. So I, I, I got the thousand subscribers. I'm at like a thousand twenty two right now, actually. And uh so my watch time minutes got to go up. I need 4,000 hours of watch time minutes, guys. I'm like 1,600 and something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm not even halfway there yet, guys. So please watch the videos all the way through, guys. I need those watch time minutes up. YouTube count every minute watched. Every minute. So, you know what I'm saying? That's how they keep track of whose channel doing good whose channel not so watch the video all the way through guys for me and uh 
what what else is there? It's the white well shorts. People watch more. Man, I got like fifty four thousand views on shorts, but they either want ten million. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The criteria is ten million. So it's either ten million uh, short views or uh, four thousand watch time hour views that I got to hit next. Either or. Don't look like I'm gonna hit that 10 million in shorts, even though I got 54,000. It's not even a dent, guys. But anyway, like I said, um, watch time minutes is very important. That's the next step in my journey and getting monetized. Once I get monetized, guys, then man, <laughs> we off to the races then. Hopefully, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully, but then that's when the YouTube search engine pushes the videos out more and everything because if they can start getting paid for the videos then you know they start pushing the videos out more so that's what i need that's the next goal guys anyway if you're still here and you heard that part thanks again guys i much appreciate it watch the videos all the way through like share subscribe and i'll see y'all with the next video we out